In organic chemistry, an alkene is an unsaturated hydrocarbon that contains at least one carbon-carbon double bond. The words alkene and olefin are often used interchangeably, see nomenclature section below. Acyclic alkenes, with only one double bond and no other functional groups, known as mono-NS, form a homologous series of hydrocarbons with the general formula CNH2N. Alkenes have two hydrogen atoms fewer than the corresponding alkane, with the same number of carbon atoms. The simplest alkene, ethylene, C2H4, with the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC, name ethene, is the organic compound produced on the largest scale industrially. Aromatic compounds are often drawn as cyclic alkenes, but their structure and properties are different and they are not considered to be alkenes. Structure Bonding Like a single covalent bond, double bonds can be described in terms of overlapping atomic orbitals, except that, unlike a single bond, which consists of a single sigma bond, a carbon-carbon double bond consists of one sigma bond and one pi bond. This double bond is stronger than a single covalent bond, 611 kJ per mole for C equals C versus 347 kJ per mole for CC, and also shorter, with an average bond length of 1.33 angstroms, 133 pm. Each carbon of the double bond uses its three sp2 hybrid orbitals to form sigma bonds to three atoms, the other carbon and two hydrogen atoms. The unhybridized 2p atomic orbitals, which lie perpendicular to the plane created by the axes of the 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals, combine to form the pi bond. This bond lies outside the main cc axis, with half of the bond on one side of the molecule and half on the other. With a strength of 65 kcal per mole, the pi bond is significantly weaker than the sigma bond. Rotation about the carbon-carbon double bond is restricted because it incurs an energetic cost to break the alignment of the p orbitals on the two carbon atoms. As a consequence, substituted alkenes may exist as one of two isomers, called cis or trans isomers. More complex alkenes may be named with the EZ notation for molecules with three or four different substituents, side groups. For example, of the isomers of butene, the two methyl groups of Z, butuene, aka cis-2-butene, appear on the same side of the double bond, and in E, butuene, aka trans-2-butene, the methyl groups appear on opposite sides. These two isomers of butene are slightly different in their chemical and physical properties. Twisting to a 90 degrees dihedral angle between two of the groups on the carbons requires less energy than the strength of a pi bond, and the bond still holds. The carbons of the double bond become pyramidal, which allows preserving some p orbital alignment and hence pi bonding. The other two attached groups remain at a larger dihedral angle. This contradicts a common textbook assertion that the two carbons retain their planar nature when twisting, in which case the p orbitals would rotate enough away from each other to be unable to sustain a pi bond. In a 90 degrees twisted alkene, the p orbitals are only misaligned by 42 degrees and the strain energy is only around 40 kcal per mole. In contrast, a fully broken pi bond has an energetic cost of around 65 kcal per mole. Some pyramidal alkenes are stable. For example, trans-cyclooctene is a stable strained alkene and the orbital misalignment is only 19 degrees, despite having a significant dihedral angle of 137 degrees a planar system has a dihedral angle of 180 degrees and a degree of pyramidalization of 18 degrees. Even trans-cycloheptene is stable at low temperatures. Shape as predicted by the VSEPR model of electron pair repulsion, the molecular geometry of alkenes includes bond angles about each carbon in a double bond of about 120 degrees. The angle may vary because of steric strain introduced by nonbonded interactions between functional groups attached to the carbons of the double bond. For example, the CCC bond angle in propylene is 123.9 degrees. For bridged alkenes, Brett's rule states that a double bond cannot occur at the bridgehead of a bridged ring system unless the rings are large enough. Following Fawcett and defining S as the total number of non-bridgehead atoms in the rings, bicyclic systems require S7 for stability and tricyclic systems require S11. 
physical properties Many of the physical properties of alkenes and alkanes are similar, they are colorless, nonpolar, and combustible. The physical state depends on molecular mass, like the corresponding saturated hydrocarbons, the simplest alkenes, ethene, propene, and butene are gases at room temperature. Linear alkenes of approximately 5 to 16 carbons are liquids, and higher alkenes are waxy solids. The melting point of the solids also increases with increase in molecular mass. Alkenes generally have stronger smells than the corresponding alkane. Ethylene is described to have a sweet odor, while ethane is odorless, for example. The binding of cupric ion to the olefin in the mammalian olfactory receptor MOR244-3 is implicated in the smell of alkenes, as well as thiols. Strained alkenes, in particular, like norbernine and trans-cyclooctene are known to have strong, unpleasant odors, a fact consistent with the stronger pi complexes they form with metal ions including copper. Reactions Alkenes are relatively stable compounds, but are more reactive than alkanes, either because of the reactivity of the carbon-carbon pi bond or the presence of allylic CH centers. Most reactions of alkenes involve additions to this pi bond, forming new single bonds. Alkenes serve as a feedstock for the petrochemical industry because they can participate in a wide variety of reactions, prominently polymerization and alkylation. Addition reactions Alkenes react in many addition reactions, which occur by opening up the double bond. Most of these addition reactions follow the mechanism of electrophilic addition. Examples are hydrohalogenation, halogenation, halohydrin formation, oxymercuration, hydroboration, dichlorocarbene addition, Simmons-Smith reaction, catalytic hydrogenation, epoxidation, radical polymerization and hydroxylation. Hydrogenation Hydrogenation of alkenes produces the corresponding alkanes. The reaction is carried out under pressure at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius in the presence of a metallic catalyst. Common industrial catalysts are based on platinum, nickel or palladium. For laboratory syntheses, rainy nickel, an alloy of nickel and aluminium, is often employed. The simplest example of this reaction is the catalytic hydrogenation of ethylene to yield ethane. CH2 equals CH2 plus H2CH3CH3. Hydration Hydration, the addition of water across the double bond of alkenes, yields alcohols. The reaction is catalyzed by strong acids such as sulfuric acid. This reaction is carried out on an industrial scale to produce ethanol. CH2 equals CH2 plus H2O CH3 CH2 Ohalkenes can also be converted into alcohols via the oxymercuration demercuration reaction, the hydroboration oxidation reaction, or by Mukayama hydration. Halogenation In electrophilic halogenation, the addition of elemental bromine or chlorine to alkenes yields vicinal dibromo and dichloroalkanes, 1, 2 dihalides or ethylene dihalides, respectively. The decoloration of a solution of bromine in water is an analytical test for the presence of alkenes. CH2 equals CH2 plus bridge 2 BrCH2 CH2 related reactions are also used as quantitative measures of unsaturation, expressed as the bromine number and iodine number of a compound or mixture. Hydrohalogenation Hydrohalogenation is the addition of hydrogen halides such as HCl or HI to alkenes to yield the corresponding haloalkanes. CH3CH equals CH2 plus HI CH3 CH I CH2 HIF. The two carbon atoms at the double bond are linked to a different number of hydrogen atoms. The halogen is found preferentially at the carbon with fewer hydrogen substituents. This patterns is known as Markovnikov's rule. The use of radical initiators or other compounds can lead to the opposite product result. Hydrobromic acid in particular is prone to forming radicals in the presence of various impurities or even atmospheric oxygen, leading to the reversal of the Markovnikov result. CH3CH equals CH2 plus HBrCH3CHHCH2 bridge. 
halohydrin formation. Alkenes react with water and halogens to form halohydrins by an addition reaction. Markovnikov regiochemistry and anti-stereochemistry occur. CH2 equals CH2 plus X2 plus H2O X CH2 CH2OH plus HX. Oxidation Alkenes are oxidized with a large number of oxidizing agents. In the presence of oxygen, alkenes burn with a bright flame to produce carbon dioxide and water. Catalytic oxidation with oxygen or the reaction with percarboxylic acids yields epoxides. Reaction with ozone in ozonolysis leads to the breaking of the double bond, yielding two aldehydes or ketones. Reaction with concentrated, hot potassium permanganate, or other oxidizing salts, in an acidic solution will yield ketones or carboxylic acids. R1CH equals CHR2 plus O3 R1CHO plus R2CHO plus H2O. This reaction can be used to determine the position of a double bond in an unknown alkene. The oxidation can be stopped at the vicinal DL rather than full cleavage of the alkene by using milder, dilute, lower temperature potassium permanganate or with osmium tetroxide or other oxidants. Photooxygenation In the presence of an appropriate photosensitizer, such as methylene blue and light, alkenes can undergo reactions with reactive oxygen species generated by the photosensitizer, such as hydroxyl radicals, singlet oxygen or superoxide ion. These reactive photochemical intermediates are generated in what are known as type 1, type 2, and type 3 processes, respectively. These various alternative processes and reactions can be controlled by choice of specific reaction conditions, leading to a wide range of different products. A common example is the 4 plus 2, cycloaddition of singlet oxygen with a dean such as cyclopentadiene to yield an endoperoxide. Another example is the Schenkein reaction, in which singlet oxygen reacts with an allylic structure to give a transposed allyl peroxide. Polymerization Polymerization of alkenes is a reaction that yields polymers of high industrial value at great economy, such as the plastics polyethylene and polypropylene. Polymers from alkene monomers are referred to in a general way as polyolefins or in rare instances as polyalkenes. A polymer from alpha-olefins is called a polyalpha-olefin Polymerization can proceed via either a free radical or an ionic mechanism, converting the double to a single bond and forming single bonds to join the other monomers. Polymerization of conjugated dienes such as buta 1, 3 dien or isoprene 2 methylbuta 1, 3 dien results in largely 1, 4 addition with possibly some 1, 2 addition of the dien monomer to a growing polymer chain. Metal complexation Alkenes are ligands in transition metal alkene complexes. The two carbon centers bond to the metal using the cc pi and pi asterisk orbitals. Mono and diolefins are often used as ligands in stable complexes. Cyclooctadiene and norbornadiene are popular chelating agents, and even ethylene itself is sometimes used as a ligand, for example, in zeiss salt. In addition, metal alkene complexes are intermediates in many metal catalyzed reactions, including hydrogenation, hydroformylation, and polymerization. Reaction overview Synthesis Industrial methods Alkenes are produced by hydrocarbon cracking. Raw materials are mostly natural gas condensate components principally ethane and propane in the U.S. and Mideast and naphtha in Europe and Asia. Alkanes are broken apart at high temperatures, often in the presence of a zeolite catalyst, to produce a mixture of primarily aliphatic alkenes and lower molecular weight alkanes. The mixture is feedstock and temperature dependent, and separated by fractional distillation. This is mainly used for the manufacture of small alkenes, up to six carbons. Related to this is catalytic dehydrogenation, where an alkane loses hydrogen at high temperatures to produce a corresponding alkene. This is the reverse of the catalytic hydrogenation of alkenes. This process is also known as reforming. Both processes are endothermic and are driven towards the alkene at high temperatures by entropy. 
Catalytic synthesis of higher alpha alkenes of the type RCH equals CH2 can also be achieved by a reaction of ethylene with the organometallic compound triethylaluminium in the presence of nickel, cobalt, or platinum. Elimination reactions One of the principal methods for alkene synthesis in the laboratory is the room elimination of alkyl halides, alcohols, and similar compounds. Most common is the beta elimination via the E2 or E1 mechanism, but alpha eliminations are also known. The E2 mechanism provides a more reliable beta elimination method than E1 for most alkene syntheses. Most E2 eliminations start with an alkyl halide or alkyl sulfonate ester, such as a tosylate or triflate. When an alkyl halide is used, the reaction is called a dehydrohalogenation. For unsymmetrical products, the more substituted alkenes, those with fewer hydrogens attached to the C equals C, tend to predominate. See Zaitsev's rule. Two common methods of elimination reactions are dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halides and dehydration of alcohols. A typical example is shown below. Note that if possible, the H is anti to the leaving group, even though this leads to the less stable Z isomer. Alkenes can be synthesized from alcohols via dehydration, in which case water is lost via the E1 mechanism. For example, the dehydration of ethanol produces ethene CH3CH2OH plus H2SO4 H2C equals CH2 plus H3O plus plus HSO minus 4 An alcohol may also be converted to a better leaving group, e.g., xanthate, so as to allow a milder syn elimination such as the Chugave elimination and the Greco elimination. Related reactions include eliminations by beta halothers the board olefin synthesis and esters ester pyrolysis. Alkenes can be prepared indirectly from alkyl amines. The amine or ammonia is not a suitable leaving group, so the amine is first either alkylated, as in the Hoffman elimination, or oxidized to an amine oxide, the Cope reaction, to render a smooth elimination possible. The Cope reaction is a syn elimination that occurs at or below 150 degrees Celsius, for example, the Hoffman elimination is unusual in that the less substituted, non of alkene is usually the major product. Alkenes are generated from alpha halosulfones in the ramberg backland reaction, via a three-membered ring sulfone intermediate. Synthesis from carbonyl compounds Another important method for alkene synthesis involves construction of a new carbon-carbon double bond by coupling of a carbonyl compound, such as an aldehyde or ketone, to a carbonyl equivalent. Such reactions are sometimes called olefinations. The most well-known of these methods is the Wittig reaction, but other related methods are known. The Wittig reaction involves reaction of an aldehyde or ketone with a Wittig reagent or phosphorane of the type pH3P equals CHR to produce an alkene and pH3P equals O. The Wittig reagent is itself prepared easily from triphenylphosphine and an alkyl halide. The reaction is quite general and many functional groups are tolerated, even esters, as in this example. Related to the Wittig reaction is the Peterson olefination. This uses a less accessible silicon-based reagent in place of the phosphorane, but it allows for the selection of E or Z products. If an E product is desired, another alternative is the Julia olefination, which uses the carbonine generated from a phenyl sulfone. The Takai olefination based on an organochromium intermediate also delivers E products. A titanium compound, Tebbs reagent, is useful for the synthesis of methylene compounds, in this case, even esters and amides react. A pair of carbonyl compounds can also be reductively coupled together, with reduction, to generate an alkene. Symmetrical alkenes can be prepared from a single aldehyde or ketone coupling with itself, using titanium metal reduction, the McMurray reaction. If two different ketones are to be coupled, a more complex, indirect method such as the barton kellogg reaction may be used. A single ketone can also be converted to the corresponding alkene via its tosyl hydrazone, using sodium methoxide, the Bamford-Stevens reaction, or an alkylithium, the Shapiro reaction. Synthesis from alkenes, olefin metathesis and hydrovinylation 
Alkenes can be prepared by exchange with other alkenes, in a reaction known as olefin metathesis. Frequently, loss of ethene gas is used to drive the reaction towards a desired product. In many cases, a mixture of geometric isomers is obtained, but the reaction tolerates many functional groups. The method is particularly effective for the preparation of cyclic alkenes, as in this synthesis of muscone. Transition metal catalyzed hydrovinylation is another important alkene synthesis process starting from alkene itself. In general, it involves the addition of a hydrogen and a vinyl group, or an alkenyl group, across a double bond. The hydrovinylation reaction was first reported by Alderson, Jenner, and Lindsay by using rhodium and ruthenium salts. Other metal catalysts commonly employed nowadays included iron, cobalt, nickel, and palladium. The addition can be done highly regio and stereoselectively. The choices of metal centers, ligands, substrates, and counterions often play a very important role. Recent studies showed that the use of N-heterocyclic carbon with Ni can be useful for the selective preparations of functionalized geminal olefins or 1,1-disubstituted alkenes. From alkynes Reduction of alkynes is a useful method for the stereoselective synthesis of disubstituted alkenes. If the cis alkene is desired, hydrogenation in the presence of Lindler's catalyst, a heterogeneous catalyst that consists of palladium deposited on calcium carbonate and treated with various forms of lead, is commonly used, though hydroboration followed by hydrolysis provides an alternative approach. Reduction of the alkyne by sodium metal in liquid ammonia gives the trans alkene. For the preparation multisubstituted alkenes, carbometallation of alkynes can give rise to a large variety of alkene derivatives. Rearrangements and related reactions Alkenes can be synthesized from other alkenes via rearrangement reactions. Besides olefin metathesis described above, a large number of paracyclic reactions can be used such as the ene reaction and the cope rearrangement. In the Diels Alder reaction, a cyclohexene derivative is prepared from a diene and a reactive or electron deficient alkene. Nomenclature Although the nomenclature is not followed widely, according to IUPAC, alkenes are acyclic hydrocarbons with one double bond between carbon centers. Olefins comprise a larger collection of cyclic and acyclic alkenes as well as dienes and polyenes. IUPAC names To form the root of the IUPAC names for alkenes, simply change the an infix of the parent to N. For example, CH3CH3 is the alkane ethane. The name of CH2 equals CH2 is therefore ethene. In higher alkenes, where isomers exist that differ in location of the double bond, the following numbering system is used. Number the longest carbon chain that contains the double bond in the direction that gives the carbon atoms of the double bond the lowest possible numbers. Indicate the location of the double bond by the location of its first carbon. Name branched or substituted alkenes in a manner similar to alkanes. Number the carbon atoms, locate and name substituent groups, locate the double bond, and name the main chain. Cis transnotation In the specific case of disubstituted alkenes where the two carbons have one substituent each, cis transnotation may be used. If both substituents are on the same side of the bond, it is defined as cis. If the substituents are on either side of the bond, it is defined as trans. EZ notation when an alkene has more than one substituent, especially necessary with three or four substituents, the double bond geometry is described using the labels E and Z. These labels come from the German words Entschigen, meaning opposite, and Zusamen, meaning together. Alkenes with the higher priority groups as determined by CIP rules on the same side of the double bond have these groups together and are designated Z alkenes with the higher priority groups on opposite sides are designated EA mnemonic to remember this Z notation has the higher priority groups on Z same Z 
groups containing C equals C double bonds. IUPAC recognizes two names for hydrocarbon groups containing carbon-carbon double bonds, the vinyl group and the allyl group. See also Nomenclature links Rule A3. Unsaturated compounds and univalent radicals 1 IUPAC Blue Book Rule A4. Bivalent and multivalent radicals 2 IUPAC Blue Book Rules A11.3, A11.4, A11.5 Unsaturated monocyclic hydrocarbons and substituents 3 IUPAC Blue Book Rule A23. Hydrogenated compounds of fused polycyclic hydrocarbons 4 IUPAC Blue Book References <references>